it sounds like a lot of power, but this is just typical power a power line that feeds a residential neighborhood. Considering you guys are in construction, you get up into some of these areas, you can be dealing with right around 50,000 volts of power, so substantially more voltage. The uh, towers that you see, the big metal towers that hold the power lines, those things have a half a million volts of power, 500,000 volts of power. They come right off the Bonneville power system. So that's dramatically more. You get close to those and it's really going to harm you. So he comes in contact with these lines and I'll show you what happens next. So he's dumping all this material into this dumpster here. And he contacts those power lines and you see the forklift all burned up here. This is what happens when you rent from Sunbelt Rentals. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, those guys are good guys. If you're recording that, strike that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can see the scorched in forklift. I'll show you a bigger slide here. So here's the forklift hitting up to the power lines. Here's all the material he's supposed to be dumping into this dumpster. So this is the thing. This guy never had any training. First, he never did job site inspection. He was never trained how to appropriately use a forklift or watch out for these hazards. So he panics and he doesn't know what to do and he decides to step out of the machine. And that's him right there. Crown. When he hit those power lines, power is always trying to find a pathway to ground. When he hit those power lines, he was okay. He was sitting inside the cab of the machine. Yeah. He was isolated from the ground by the wheels and tires. Yeah. Even if the rubber wheels weren't there, he's still sitting in the cab of the machine, so he's isolated. He'd have been safe. But since he panicked, he stepped out. He was touching the machine and the ground at the same time, so he completed the circuit. And all that electricity came out of those lines and went through his body. And then that's what killed him. Wow. This is only 7,500 volts of power, or 7,514,000 volts. It's not a lot considering what you guys can be exposed to. Stay in the cab of the machine if you hit a power line. If you're in a man lift, stay in that basket. And real importantly, if you see somebody in a basket of a man lift connected up to the power line, don't walk up to that machine because you could touch that machine and, and cause the same problem here. Show you a little bit better view. This is the thing, is you can't say this guy was stupid. This is just an everyday job thing. You know, you're going out, you're working on a job, you're used to doing this thing all the time, you just happen to expose yourself to this hazard. You're not trained on what to do in this type of situation. So stay in the cab of the machine, wait till an electrician comes by and uh, disconnects the power. I told you got a little more gruesome here. You thought this was going to be a boring class. <laughs> you thought, oh, safety, I'm going to go to sleep. Okay. So the, the next paragraph here, it reads,